Hey guys, just thought I'd make a random vlog because I haven't made one in a while. <sighs> so, how you been doing? How you doing? Oh, I can't do that. Bloody hell, I'm hyper today. No, that's not right. Um, so, the Westlife gig. I did put up a little clip video, but now I want to do the little vloggy bit beforehand. I'm not going to show you the uh, booklet and the ticket simply because I can't be bothered um, because it's downstairs. And that also leads back to, I can't be bothered. So yeah, what I am going to say about it is the booklet is amazing. Literally, Mark was the art director for it, so it's amazing. And his boyfriend, Kevin, was the photographer for it. And it's just so cool. Uh, I probably shouldn't spin like this because my camera will probably mess up. And it's really motion dizzy. Hey, I can do the full spin now. Anyway. Um... But what I love is, in, uh, what I love is, in one of those clips, all you can hear is security guard going, "Oi, oi, keep to your seats, oi!" And what was really funny was, at the gig, he went down because there were seats there, but as soon as the gods came on, we all kind of stood up like you do for a king or something, and we were just like, "All rise!" So we stood up, and um, yeah, I say um too much. But the security guard went down the middle and he was just like, get back to your seats, and then he came back like a few minutes later and before he went down I was like, you're not going to get them to move mate, you're just not, you're not going to get them to do it. A few minutes later he came back, I'm not going down there again, can't do it. Then they sent in the really bulky guy and we just kind of crowded in on him like vultures and he couldn't move us either. So, we're mad. No. Um, damn, there I go again. But I've ordered my Westlife hoodie. I actually had £40 to pay for it, so that is amazing. So, yeah, yeah, I've ordered that. It's got their faces on the front, and it's awesome. <sighs> so, what I've been doing at the moment is I've got another video in the works. Um, I'm supposed to be entering a contest, which I don't even know is still on, so I should probably check that. But what I want to do is I want to cover a MCR song. So I've been practicing Disenchanted on my guitar and I just have to practice it forever so I probably won't even get the video up before the contest is finished but I'm still going to put a video up to it so I hope that'll go okay I'm not very good at it yet it's going to take me ages guys and also another thing I've been doing recently is video gaming like but I play, I play like kind of old video games not old old just like stuff that is slightly out of fashion like the PS2 and the GameCube stuff like that because I'm just like I catch it onto everything like a year too late it's really funny I'm just I refuse to do it and I refuse to do it and then in the end I'm like actually I quite like this and everyone else is like uh, we moved on dude so now I'm just kinda playing video games that nobody else plays anymore but PS2 is legend and I've been playing loads of Tony Hawk's recently but, right, me and my friend recently went in, out into town and bought a load of, com like, video games. And it's just really weird how people think of them as, like, nerdy and rubbish and stuff. Because they're not. They're actually really cool. But, um, it depends what you like. Because I really can't get into stuff like Final Fantasy or Call of Duty or all of that kind of stuff. Because I know they're really different, but... I can't get into them because they're just there's just so much to bother to get into and I can't be bothered so basically all I do is Jack and Daxter and Tony Hawks and that is it. Oh maybe Harry Potter. That too. But um so basically I play out of fashion computer games that are really sad. So the reason I went out and bought those computer games is because over this summer I've set myself a list of things to do because it's like changing time between year 11 and sixth form or college whichever I get into and I just want to like, do loads of things that I've never done before so I'm like learning languages, making videos, doing video games, learning to play guitar again, writing my, finishing my book I'm not going to finish my book, reading this pile of books that I've got by my case just stuff like that. So I bought like loads of computer games to play and complete over the holidays. But right, 
My question today is, what are you planning to do with the holidays that you've never done before? Like, try something new, just do it, man. I mean, me and my dad tried the hottest chilli sauce in the world the other day, and, you know, I don't even know why we did it. We just, we, this man tried it before us and was hiccuping with the heat, and he just said, oh yeah, try the middle one. So we tried it, and then I was just like, my mouth was numb, but then just to prove that I was a bit stronger than the man before us, I was just like, well, it's not that bad. And inside I was just like, it's quite bad really, isn't it? And then my dad was just like, <laughs> and then the man read, made us read the back and it was the strongest chilli in the world. And I was just like, you bastard. No. Anyway, so that was cool. But we tried something new, you know? And yeah, so what do you plan to do this holidays or this summer that is new, that you've never done before? Uh, my song has got to be... Uh, I'm just going to pick a Westlife one because of the gig. Um, How to Break a Heart because that was the best. Right, they did like a few medleys and they mixed How to Break a Heart with Halo by Beyonce and that was just the greatest... Oh, they they were hot. Um, and Sex on Fire because that was good as well. <sighs> so that's my song. I can't really... Oh yeah, unless you want to watch my clip vid. Unless you don't like Westlife, which is, like, blasphemy, really. Um, I'm spinning too fast. No! Oh, crap. This chair just slides about all over the place. Um, what, what else have I got to do? The quote. I'll just put it in the below bar. So, have a nice time. I don't know when I'll be able to vlog again. Just whenever I want to, really. Bye-bye now.